uh, adding a little steam fog to a balmy morning. We're here outside of uh, One Center Street Courthouse. There's going to be an auction going on there. We uh, came at uh, assuming it's going to be at 10 o'clock, but uh, it got postponed until 2, so we have a few hours to kill. As uh, we were walking here, I found an interesting sight in an unexpected place that we'll be coming up to in about, um, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Kind of reminded me of a little uh, idea. I'll just give it some more context right now. As we walk up to this window, that's uh, basically known as the Sugar House Prison Window. As it says on the sign, well, uh, come over here. The window was originally part of the five-story Sugar House built in 1763 at the corner of Duane and Rose Streets and used by the British during the Revolutionary War as a prison for American, uh, American patriots. The Sugar House was demolished in 1892 and replaced by the Rhinelander building incorporating this window into the facade as a historical artifact. Uh, the Rhinelander building was demolished then in 1968 and the site is now occupied by police headquarters. So basically we've come, as I like to say, full circle. We started with a prison mm -hmm. and it had a curious name, right? Sugar House. And actually that reminds me, there's a famous place called Walnut Road, which has very little to do with Little House on the Prairie, unless it's a dog house on the Prairie, that's a separate matter. And the Rhinelander building, as Rhinelander actually has a lot of historical significance, as many buildings were built by Rhinelander, mm -hmm. declared historical artifacts. But then after that, it basically went, like I said, back to being a police station. Of all the things that were left here, there's a spoon. Hmm? You like, would you like one sugar or two, huh? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Pardon the pun. And a Rayovac battery. I get a charge out of these things. It's, everything comes full circle. I'm going to go back to adding a little steam, but you guys enjoy yourselves. Hopefully a little food for thought.